party started. This is boxing. This is top rank. I just want to get in there and uh, get the job done. I'm, I'm very motivated. You come down next in this pro world champion. Next thing, back up to your fucking Thank face, you. okay? Yeah. Seen about here. Thank you, fat cunt. This shows me how the type of guy he really is, you know? I'm talking to fucking you. He's uh, kind of cheap to me, to be honest. Not a gentleman. It's incredible to have and host the first fan attended fight in Las Vegas since post COVID is, you know, just so, so exciting and what an honor to be able to host top rank. You know, I, I kind of grew up in Madison Square Garden on Friday night at the fights and be able to have Virgin Hotels Las Vegas host Saturday night at the fights because this is not going to be our only, only event with top rank is even, even more exciting as well. But it just really works with our entire property. It works with everything that we want to be where, you know, entertainment meets athletics, where music, you know, meets convention, where business meets leisure. At the end of tomorrow night in the 140 pound class, it will be one undisputed champion of the world. For us to be part of that is amazing. You look great. Feeling good. All right, everybody, champ is here. Right here, Jose. Tell me about this. What would you gather from him on this right here? He's a bit nervous. He's, he's trying to give himself that little confidence. He's trying to make a little angle for him to grab that little confidence, but I just, you know. I'm not worried about that. What did he say? He was very concerned about me going into sauna, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go back to the sauna? Mm -hmm. Seems like you're, you're, uh, seems like he's struggling, something but like that. But his, his shit talking and smack talking here, you read as just his insecurity trying to, it's not it gamesmanship, but trying to do anything to you, you think it's about him. Uh, I've never missed weight. Never had, a, had to get a second chance to make the weight. But my behavior is a lot more composed than his behavior today, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, he's in left field today. He wanted to go out to Rick Murray, you know, He did, yeah, he got in my well, face outside, he had a face off with yeah, him, yeah. you know? Oh, he said he wanted to fight me, honest to God. He said he was going to fight me because of our exchanges on Twitter when I was tired of his mouth. So he said he wanted to, he wanted to fight me, and then uh, that was the second time today. I'm assuming that's part of the game plan is to get him into a fire fight as soon as possible. Sometimes it's not so much about volume of punches, but, also, but just making sure you throw the ones that are going to hurt him. I think if I land, some, you know, my punches away and I know how to throw them, I could probably hurt him, you know? If Jose fights the fight that you expect, what's it looking like early, mid-round, later on in the fight? We, we think uh, around the 10th round, Jose will stop him. Well placed. Jeff, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. 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 I do think I can knock him out. I just believe with his style and his eagerness to get in my face, he's going to walk into a few punches. Obviously, I've got to use his aggression against him. I guarantee it. I guarantee I'll knock him out. You say guarantee? I guarantee I'll knock him out. Guarantee? I guarantee I'll knock him out. What punch do you really like? This is what it's going to do. I'm not going to say what punch, but I'm saying I'm knocking him out. What makes you doubt that so much? I just... <laughs> no one's been able to knock this guy out yet. How did you find him? Yeah. I thought it um, was a little bit negative, wasn't it? Say that again. But negative. He was negative. Oh, he was? Yeah. Seems surprised that I'm confident in knocking Ramirez out for some reason. <laughs> you know? He's even said it himself. He's vulnerable to get hit. And I am a very, very accurate fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the brand new, beautiful Virgin Hotel Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. My name is Mark Chinook, and the undisputed junior welterweight championship of the world is on the line Saturday night. Let's get him on the scale. Introducing first, Jose Ramirez. 
for the WBC WBO champion, 139.6. Please welcome to the scale from Edinburgh, Scotland, Josh the Tartan Tornado Taylor. 139.6, 139.6 for Josh the Tartan Tornado Taylor. From right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the brand new Virgin Hotel and Casino, Josh the Tartan Tornado Taylor, Jose Ramirez. This is boxing, this is top rank, this is what it's all about. The undisputed junior welterweight championship of the world. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The weights have been made. The fight happens tomorrow. Yo, listen. I've got in his head, I know he's in his head, and he seems a little bit fired up. You never get that before, so that's good. I'm going to smash his face in tomorrow. Josh, what did you guys tell each other in the face-off? Ask Ramirez. You're up his ass enough, so go and speak to him. Hey, Josh, how you I made way, so you had nothing else to say. I did my part, I made, it, made it look easy, you know? I have never missed one weight in my whole career. And it wasn't going to start today. The biggest, biggest fight of my life. So, you know, they were just looking for any little thing, you know, be motivated and, and, and you know, take that little advantage. For, and then realize so fast that it wasn't that what they thought, you know. You know, he, to tell her likes to talk, he likes to talk a lot. You know, I'll do what I gotta do. And that's, you know, I'm trying to break my hands in this goal. That's what I'm, I'm gonna try to do that, break my hands on this, on this face.